Andrew Neal has highlighted two major problems the government has made in its response to the coronavirus outbreak. The BBC journalist warned that a lack of testing NHS staff for COVID-19 threatens to become the biggest scandal of the pandemic. And he hit out at the shortage of personal protection equipment PPE for health workers. Mr Neil tweeted, clear this morning that UK government has two major problems on its hands. Failure to ramp up testing, especially of NHS and social care staff. Unless ministers get a grip this will become the scandal of the crisis, failure to distribute enough PPE to NHS, social care staff. It comes as the government is facing mounting pressure to increase its coronavirus testing. The Royal College of Physicians, the Royal College of Nursing and the British Medical Association have all said testing of NHS workers are being forced to self-isolate if they show symptoms but are not able to check if they have the disease. Critics have also warned that mass community testing is the only safe way to lift the lockdown without risking a fresh outbreak. Housing and Communities Secretary Robert Jenrick today said he hopes to see significant increases in testing this week. He told Good Morning Britain, we expect to be at 15,000 tests over the course of this week and then moving further forward in the future. And Michael Gove admitted during Tuesday's Downing Street press conference that the government needed to go further, faster. About 8,000 tests a day are currently being carried out despite ministers claiming to have met a target of 10,000. A further target of 25,000 tests a day is now not expected to be. Elsewhere, there has been an outcry over a lack of PPE for frontline workers amid global shortages. Doctors have described how the kit is being hidden by desperate staff, while others have warned it is inevitable they will get sick. On Tuesday, the BMA called for clarity over what risks healthcare workers should take if they do not have adequate protective equipment. The government has said that millions of pieces of kit have been delivered across the country and that staff with concerns can call a national helpline. It comes as there have been 25,150 confirmed coronavirus cases in the UK, with the death toll at 1,789, according to the latest Department of Health figures.